In this tutorial, I want to talk about how to build endurance of the core. I've talked a lot about it in past videos. Um, I've even mentioned the, the system or the, um, the protocol that we're going to use. Um, but first of all, I want to talk a little bit about it, and then I'll go through a quick stem demonstration of it. So part one, what is the protocol that we're going to be using to build endurance? Well, it's training in blocks. Now, what that means is when most people do a plank, for example, they will just hold it for a period of time, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five, whatever it is, they will do that. Now, if we want to build core endurance, it's much more effective to train in 10 second blocks with a five second recovery. The reason we do that is because it helps us or it helps the body, I should say, lose some of the, the buildup of fatigue. So the waste products that build up, just like when you go out cycling or run or you lift weights, whatever that might be, you get a, a soreness buildup. Then you have a rest and then you do another set. And then you have a rest and then you do another set. So in that rest time, what the body is doing is reducing and removing the, the waste product buildup. So this is the type of thing that we want to be doing for our core because most people will just hold it, keep holding it, keep holding it, keep holding it. Yes, they'll have a break at the end of the 60 seconds or the 90 seconds, but as I talk about in so many of my videos, the muscles of the core uh, sort of work differently to the muscles um, of the limbs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be focusing on blocks of um, 10 seconds with a five second break in between. Again, we're allowing the waste products to remove. So essentially, what we should be able to do is hold it for longer, build more endurance. So if we then did go back to a plank where we were holding for 60 seconds, what we should find is that we can go longer because the body has been trained to build up, uh, sorry, to, to remove the buildup of, um, of waste products. So how it works, very simple, is exactly as I've described. So we're gonna come down into the plank position and we're going to hold here so we're going to hold for 10 seconds now I'm not I'm not timing this I'm just going to do it for demonstration purposes so starting on the knees lift one knee lift the other knee we're in the plank we've got the posture hips are in line heads in line so on and so forth we've held it for 10 seconds now we're going to come down we still maintain the posture through here so we still maintain this posture, and then when it gets to four seconds, lift one leg, five seconds, lift the other leg, we're back in the plank. We're holding again. Now this, this type of plank and this type of protocol is perfect for beginners, because when I'm working with people, what they will tend to be able to do is hold a plank for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, sometimes 20 seconds. So we're talking about beginners. And what we can get them to do is, let's just say they held a plank for 15 seconds in a, um, like, a, like a, a, a mini assessment. We get them to hold for 10, break, we get them to hold for 10. So they've done two blocks of 10, so they've actually held a plank for 20 seconds, which is longer than they could do before. And that's just by changing the protocol, because their, their body has allowed, or been allowed, some time to remove the waste products, which has then allowed them to be able to hold another 10 second plank. So we've, in some respects, we've increased their endurance just by changing the way that they've, they've held the plank. And then as we become more and more advanced, we just keep adding 10 second blocks onto the back of it. And then if we get a little bit more advanced, we might then do three lots of 10 seconds of the plank, go into another exercise, come back to the plank, go into another exercise, come back to the plank. So we are, we are building the endurance all the way through a workout session, depending on the level of the individual. So it's very important um, to be able to build endurance in the correct way, because what again can happen is if someone is building their core and they're just holding position, holding position, holding position. Now this could be a plank, could be a deadlift, could be a, a pulling exercise. What can be happening in the, in the lower back or in the torso, it can be fatiguing. Now what that then uh, opens the door for is back pain to start manifesting itself. Because if we go into the, into the gym and do a hard workout, 
we come out fatigued, we then go we then go to work, which is a manual job, or we go home and we gotta do housework and stuff, our core is fatigued. We aren't thinking about what we're doing because we're doing housework or we're at work or whatever it might be. That then allows the back pain to start happening or start manifesting itself. So we need to be mindful of that. So using this protocol builds that core uh, endurance so we're able to endure and cope uh, with those rigors of everyday life, be it at work in a manual job or at home. Um, it can even help with the sedentary life because it's again building that endurance of the torso. So it has uses for beginners. It also has uses for intermediate and advanced um, exercises as well. So just to quickly go back over the, the protocol, it's very simple. We would start down on the knees. We would then come up one knee, the other knee, hold for 10 seconds. Once we hit the 10 seconds, we bring the knees back down, relax off. We then go one, two, back up. We would hold again, one, two, back down. So all the way through, 10 second blocks, or 10 second blocks of holding, five second break. If you are um, a beginner that you need to do the kneeling plank, so you could be in this position, it would just be try and lower yourself at the elbow and then push yourself back up. Try not to, so it's lower, and then push yourself back up. So we're not then again putting the stress on the lower back by flattening and coming up like so. So we're not going like that and like that, like that and like that, because that's only going to put extra stress on the lower back. So hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully it's given you a better idea of um, building core endurance and the protocol to do it. Uh, so many thanks for watching. My name is Chris, Chris Toll Training. I'll speak to you in the next tutorial.